What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for checking out my video, and I hope you are enjoying your day. All right, um, this is a video I really didn't want to talk about, but it seems obvious that the people want to help spread fear through um, basically just using a popular word. We've recently had things like ISIS. Uh, we now have a thing called Ebola. Now, a couple of people have asked me to make a video about this. So we got to really have people educated in what they're doing. And I'm going to put it as usual, like I do in my videos. I try and put things in proper perspective. I want people to look up how many people just in America, the United States of America Corporation, how many millions of people die each year from cigarettes, from alcohol-related issues like drunk driving, prescription drugs, people who die at the hands of police, people who die from overeating with all the chemicals in the food and water, people with diabetes and other illnesses, and yet they want us to focus on something that is what? Two official deaths, I believe. And they want to spread the fear because they want people to be able to get scared and they start talking about, oh, Ebola this, Ebola that, because they want people programmed. I've been telling people for how many years now how easy it is to program people to where you do the message for them. And as far as I understand, and I've talked to actual nurses and doctors about this, Ebola is not contagious. You could be sitting next to a person with Ebola, and you're not going to get anything. From what I understand, it's basically a glorified stomach virus. But they like to turn things into something that it is not because they want the people to spread the message, get you to say, OK, look over here while what's going on with the economy is over here. But pay no attention to that. We want you scared by something that we'll talk about. And as what, like I said, I think two reported deaths, which any death is bad. But I mean, let's put it in perspective. They're not talking about prescription drugs or people in hospitals that, you know, do wrong in the surgery and kill people, uh, people that are dying every day from cigarettes, lung cancer from it, uh, people that are on prescription medications. They don't want to talk about that. Don't worry about the millions of people that die every day from alcohol and drug-related problems, prescription drugs, and things like that. But please, focus over here where we have two reported cases. We're just going to talk about it to scare you. And eventually, that'll be the next word of the day. It's fear-based. It is distraction-based. It is look over here while we do things over here. And I see so many channels from what I would consider smarter people that are talking about this like it's the next Black Plague. That it's going to wipe out millions of people. It's the next zombie apocalypse. People love drama. And that's why I've seen it even on my channel, how people want to try and start drama. I just refuse to accept it. I refuse to accept fear. So if people want to talk about things like Ebola, then your priorities are off. And you're just continuing a trend that they want you to focus on. They want you to think, oh, I'm in the know because I'm talking about the latest fear porn that they're bashing down our throats. And everybody takes it hook, line, and sinker. So my video is not going to be about, oh, you need to be aware of this. You need to protect yourself. You need to be frightened of it. Take it for what it is. Millions over here dying every year from alcohol, cigarettes, prescription drugs. But let's not focus on that. Let's focus over here at the scary new word, Ebola. And people wonder why they're so easily controlled. We do this to ourselves. 
So hopefully somebody will get the message that stop spreading fear. Stop helping the corruption. Stop doing their work for them and get educated. Because I remember when they first started talking about back in the mid 80s when AIDS supposedly came out and there were rumors that people would spit on people and get arrested for attempted murder. And I remember when I went to massage school back in 1996, they have to teach you about things like this because, you know, AIDS can be something that can be transferred. And there were a lot of there was a lot of misinformation. So they want to make sure that you know what's going on. And I remember um, I was dating a girl at the time and we visited some of her friends upstate um, somewhere upstate New York. I don't remember where. Um, but one of the uh, this girl had AIDS. Uh, well, she had, she was HIV positive. She didn't have full blown AIDS, but she had HIV positive. And I remember while I was there, we stayed there for about um, four or five days. It was a house where about like a cup, like probably fifteen college kids were renting a, a house for themselves. And this girl, everybody was afraid to go near her, thinking, "Oh my God, if I go near her, she's gonna kill me. I'm gonna contract AIDS." And I remember the first thing I did when I heard about that, and I could see how depressed and lonely this person was. I went up to her and gave her a hug. And I remember, just like it was yesterday, that she started crying. Not sad, but just wanting to have somebody reach out. And it's the ignorance of people that they just listen to everything that's out there. And they gather it like a little snowflake that starts, for some reason, sliding down a mountain. And it gets and attracts more and more snow and builds up and builds up. And next thing you know, it's a giant avalanche. People need to start thinking more clearly when it comes to things like Ebola. Because let's not be hypocrites here. If we're not going to talk about the alcohol and the cigarettes and the prescription medications and how many people are shot by cops every year. And you want to focus on something just because it has a new name and gets you talking about a new subject. Well, you're helping the problem and you're creating fear through our ignorance. So if you choose to stay ignorant, that is your choice. But make no mistake, Ebola is not going to affect me whatsoever. And if you let it affect you, Good luck with it, whatever you're trying to discover from your experience. But make no mistake, all you're doing is, is helping a corrupt system continue to scare people. And you're doing it for free. So to the people out there that make all these Ebola videos trying to scare people, making people worry about something that is minuscule compared to what's really going on in this world, wonder why things don't change. So I will continue to be the voice of reason. Uh, people may not always agree with my way of thinking, but that's okay. I don't do this to try and persuade anybody to believe in anything they don't want. So I do it because this is what my channel is all about, speaking from my point of view. And if it resonates with people, well, to me, that's a bonus. So if you appreciate my information, give it a thumbs up, share it, post it on your social networks, favor it, and get people to listen. Unless you want to create another epidemic, another panic, another black swan event, another false flag, another fear porn. Uh, aren't we tired of that yet? I think we should focus on the things that we can control and stop trying to talk about the new popular thing just to get views. To me, it's just silly. So this will be my only Ebola virus video because I'm not going to waste my time helping fear porn. And the only reason I'm doing this is to get people to kind of see it for what it really is in the grand scheme of things. It's not to scare people. Because like I've always said, fear is a choice. You want to be scared? Well, enjoy the experience. It's not for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.